I just doesn't know. Doesn't know. Oosh! Like a bullet! We are back with our Road to Master, and I'm actually very excited today because this is the first character we're doing that is not part of one of the betas. The first two we did were Jury and Chun Li, um, and we are going to be doing Cami today. Uh, if you weren't here for the previous ones, the goal is to get to the top of the pyramid right here in the Street Fighter 6 ranks to master rank with every character in the game. Um, of course, the first step to that is playing the placement matches, so we will do that in the second half of the video. But for the first half, I'm basically going to give an overview. I've done a little bit of labbing, a little bit of homework, so I understand the basics of the character and I'm going to share that with you guys so that you guys also have the tools to succeed in your ranked matches. Before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and let's get into the Kami overview. Alright, so right off the bat, Kami's normals are a lot shorter than they were in Street Fighter V. Like right here, Kami Crouch Medium Kick would probably reach in Street Fighter V. Um, but you can see it's a lot shorter um, than it was in the past. I think they really want you to focus on Kami's air approach in this game, which is why they added options to her hooligan. So, you know, she has her dive kick still from hooligan and she has her hooligan throw. Um, but now she has her V-Trigger 2 thing from Street Fighter 5, which is an overhead that you can combo from off of an EX one. She can even get combos off of a drive rush and you can charge up the heavy hooligan to get basically the same properties as the EX one. So a lot of new tools in the air along with that her ex dive kick doesn't knock down anymore so she gets grounded combos just like street fighter 4 um so i think they really are emphasizing the airplay rather than um like the hit confirm kind of style as street fighter 5 but besides that she still is a monster at whiff punishing with her buttons you know she's not going to be lacking in that aspect at all so we'll start with her buttons her farthest reaching light attack is her stand light kick so you can do like three jabs and two a spiral arrow the medium one's going to do the most damage if you're doing it from jab because the heavy kick one is only going to oh it actually doesn't even combo but also heavy dp hits a little bit weird so you want to do the medium dp it's going to get the full hit for a little bit more damage uh, her only plus button actually is crouching fierce so you can do this um, to try and get a counter hit but you're going to want to drive rush in with your medium punch because that's going to leave you plus three it's minus one normally but if you drive rush in it's plus three right in throw range. You know, normally you don't get much off of it. You're just gonna get stand leg kick on regular hit. Same thing for crouching medium punch. Crouching medium punch, you just go into heavy drill or heavy DP. Same thing for heavy punch, basically. Crouching fierce, you can go into crouch medium punch. So this is what you're gonna really wanna be frame trapping with up close. But if you have the cash, your basic drive rush that you wanna do, crouch fierce, stand fierce. Um, pretty simple. Can just loop that. And Stand Fierce actually goes into Charge DP, um, which is important, especially to go into level three, which I'll probably talk about a little bit more later. But if you just do um, DP into level three normally, you won't actually get the hit, but you have to charge it and cancel the first hit of it. Oh, I think I didn't charge it long enough. So it looks like you just have to charge longer, lo uh, charge a little longer than I was previously. So those are the things that she has up close. Other than that, she has some great pokes. Sand Heavy Kick gets like a punish counter effect for a knockdown if it punish counters. Um, she has Back Heavy Kick, which is a launcher. Forward Heavy Kick, which I think is supposed to just like take a step back and then go into a special while your opponent is pressuring you. It's a little bit hard to use if you're not used to it though, so we're probably not gonna see people use it that much until later on. I forgot to mention on counter hits because this is gonna come up a lot when you're plus and your opponent mashes. Any counter hit jab, you go into crouch medium punch. On counter hit crouch medium punch, you also go into crouch medium punch. Pretty much any time you get a counter hit, you go into crouch medium punch, unless it's off of a stand fierce then you can go into, or crouch fierce then you can go into stand fierce. Uh, and then her air options off of any hooligan, this it leaves you plus seven actually. So you could do this. If you're close enough for this target combo, this is gonna do more damage than heavy into drill. Um, so you're just gonna wanna do this target combo right here. You can spend EX for a little bit more. Um, she also has another target combo off of her stand fierce. Um, it's a little bit weird. It does this if you don't hit anything, but you can cancel the second hit into a dive kick. Um, which you can then use to drive rush and just stuff like this. I know off of the grab at least, you do this, medium into heavy. 
For level 1, you can combo off of a lot of juggles, so if you do something like this, you could go into level 1. I think you probably could even on this one, after this, go into level 1 as well, do a little side swap into super. But it's not like a huge amount of damage. Uh, same thing for level 2, actually. It's actually, I think the main use is probably going to be off of this jab confirm. Um, two jabs into EX drill is going to let you get a full super combo. And then also if you're cornered, any hit you can get into EX drill is going to side switch. Even if you wake up DP, that's going to lead to a side switch. So Kami is not going to have much problems getting out of the corner. Uh, she can also cancel it in the air, so if she reacts to a fireball and you jump, you can probably do something like this. I haven't, I haven't really tested it to see if uh, really confirming that it's going to hit is realistic, um, but that is something interesting to think about. You probably could air to air with it as well with the jump medium punch into EX dive kick. And then the level 3 is an amazing super attack. So first, um, so level 3 full screen is going to go into the animation. So you just, it's so cool because you're just actually a bullet. I'll show you what it looks like against a fireball. Full screen against a fireball. Just boom. Shot. And it's a great full screen fireball option. Um, in general, against fireballs, she has hooligans. This one is projectile invincible. You can see after frame 5 on the bomb, the orange stripes. EX1 after the second frame. So frame 3 projectile invincible, so really fast. It's going to let you get stand fierce on punish counter. On regular hit though, you don't get stand fierce. And then EX, got a crouch medium punch. But if you see them fireball, you know you're getting the punish counter. And as I said earlier, you can do charge fierce into the super. Like that. You can also do drill into super if you're not feeling as confident with it. Will again, of course. So just a bunch of options. Um, for the supers, so that's pretty much it for the supers. One last thing, her heavy uh, spin knuckle, I think I've been saying hooligan the whole time. Spin knuckle is plus three, so you can definitely frame trap them after. Because people are going to not know this one is plus, because to the untrained eye, they look very similar. And I think they're all safe, right? Yeah, all of them are safe, which is also crazy. Like, the thing is, they lose a drive impact, um, so that's the risk. But if you do them sparingly, um, it's not as huge of a risk. So that's basically going to be it. You're going to want to stay up close, look for some frame traps with the buttons. You're going to want to try and space out your dive kicks so they're plus. If you hit lower on the feet, it's going to make them more plus. You can see it's zero right there. Um, the EX one, if I do it right there, it's going to be plus one so I can go for the jab there. That one was plus three. Uh, that one was plus two. So you can also do hooligan into the dive kick. Try and angle it to be plus. Go in for the grab if they're scared. Um, go for the throw and the overhead sometimes. You know, mix in the EX one. And get a combo off the EX one. And that's pretty much everything I know with Kami up to this point. You know, it's not everything that there's going to be, obviously, but it should be enough to get you started. And I've decided it's enough to get me started. So I'm going to go ahead with my placement matches. How does that even come out? How did he get that? Nope. 
Oh no. I had no idea if that was punishable or not. Oh my god, he has a 46 win streak now. Yes. Bro, what kind of counter beats a throw? Bro, I tried to delay throw. What am I actually supposed to do about that? I just gotta wait and then do what? Can we? Can we break the streak? I think that was actually a the game, not him, because it ended my matchmaking. I was gonna take that streak though. Oosh. Oh no! Watch this. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oosh! Like a bullet! Hmm. That's a cute. Sick. I didn't even know that was a perfect. That's gotta be diamond, right? Let's go. Cami to diamond as well. Good start for our road to warlord. Okay, so we got Cami on the spreadsheet for our road to master progress. We placed a diamond one and then 19,000 points. A perfect diamond one entry um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what you thought about cami leave a like if you like the video and subscribe to the channel down below we'll have more road to master more content coming up for street fighter 6 i'm so excited to play more of the game um it's all i can think about so uh, make sure to keep tuning in and i will keep trying to give you the best content that i can